think these are gonna go fast. I'm gonna keep making these for fairs too. And then I had a customer ask me if I had the gray Great Dane. So that was kind of chaotic, um, not gonna lie. This might be the heaviest it's rained at a fair thus far. I'm getting to after designing these. Oh, you designed them? Yeah. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is another market day vlog. We have one market this weekend, but it's a two day market. So today is Saturday. It's currently 7.12 a.m. and we're on our way to the lake. I'm so excited for this market. It's gonna be so pretty. And today, which is Saturday, the market runs from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then tomorrow it's 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So Saturday is a longer day. But yeah, we have Duncan with us. Sean, of course, if you're new here. And I don't know if there's much else to say. I'll see you when I get there. Is there anything else I'm... Oh, the temperature. Here's the forecast. It's like, I don't know what the temperature is right now, but it's August 12th, and when I walked outside this morning to take Duncan out, it was 56 degrees. Um, but the high is 77 today, which is great, because that's perfect weather, especially up by the lake because it's just always, because it always just feels a little cooler up there. So yeah, I'm excited, and I will see you when we get there. Okay, I'm trying to get out of the direct sunlight, but we just got here, and the way that the setup works is we park and then wheel our stuff to our spot. So we just parked, and we're about to wheel everything over and get set up. Don't you wanna lie by the ocean? 
dog dad in full swing. <laughs> Okay, here's a tour of my booth. Sorry if you watch my channel, you've seen this like a thousand times, but sometimes it changes a little bit. But I have my keychains on the outside of my booth, so I have a bunch of dog breeds and cat breeds as well, and these are also available on Etsy. And then next to those, I have candles. These are poured into recycled cans. I don't sell them online in the summer months, but otherwise I do. And stay tuned, we might be doing something new with candles soon. And then I have my stickers, and Sean made this a few months back. It spins, I love it. And then I have phone grips, which I need to restock super badly, but those are super cute. And then I have big coasters along with car coasters, and these are punch needled. And then I have my tote bags. So I have tufted tote bags, and then I had one uh, pressed tote bag as well. And then finally, citronella candles. Mr. Baker, send me coffee with this paper. Oh, I laid in a can, wore different shoes again. Sitting on the bus, the two were just thinking all oh, they loved long ago. And old Mr. Baker received his draft papers with the conscience clean at 18. Seven out his time, and without knowing why. It's 9.30 and the fair started at 9 and I made six sales. I did six keychains, so that's a total of $60. So that's a very good start to the day. And I made these new coasters last night. They're Boston Red Sox coasters. I'm not gonna sell them on Etsy because of trademark issues, but I think these are gonna go fast. I'm gonna keep making these for fairs too. I'm getting to after designing these. Are you designer? Yeah. Okay, do you have a meat and terrier? I don't. So in my last market vlog, I shared how much revenue I brought in in each hour, so I want to do that again. So from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., I made $60. Then from 10 to 11, I made $45. From 11 to 12, I made $129. From 12 to 1, I made $50. From 1 to 2, I made $81. 
from 2 to 3, I made $76. Between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock, I made $0. And then between 4 and 5 o'clock, I made $35 for a total of $476 for day one at this market. And this two-day market cost a total of $95, which I think is pretty reasonable. And at 5 o'clock we started packing up. I just take home inventory for overnight markets so we left the tables and the big display items. It is 5.35 and we're on our way home from day one of this craft fair and we made $476. So that's pretty good for the first day of a two-day fair. It was $95 to be a vendor for both days. So both days only $95. So that's also very good. That's less than $50 a day, which is crazy. There was a lot of people at the beginning and then as the day went on, like fewer and fewer people started coming. So that's not ideal, but I'm hoping tomorrow is still good even though I anticipate that today is the better of the two days because it's Saturday. I am back home from the first market. Today is still Saturday and it is 10.04 p.m. And the sound you are hearing was stickers. I'm currently restocking. So I have Black Lab that I only had one of, so I wanted to make more of those. Capybara I needed to make more of. I mean, I only made one. And then the fluffy cow I'm out of. And then I had a customer ask me if I had the gray Great Dane with a white front and I did not. And so I told her I would make it. She might be back tomorrow. Either way, this is the most popular Great Dane color I found, not according to Google, but according to what I see. So I wanted to have the Great Dane in gray anyways, and I think I'm gonna make it into a keychain. But I figured we could chat a little bit as I do this. So after the fair, which we were leaving around, what was it, 5.30? ish I think we're heading back I went to my parents with Sean because we're having an extended family get-together and I haven't seen some of the people that were there in a long long time so I really wanted to go to that and people got there at 2 2 30 and we got there around 6 30 and then we left there around 8 so that was really nice but I'm not gonna lie I was pretty tired my head was like pounding the whole time there was Winnie my parents dog was there and then another family member's dog and then Duncan and Duncan's much smaller and a lot less stronger than both of those dogs and they were all trying to play kind of aggressively I mean one of the dogs is actually really good he gets down low to Duncan's level and is submissive but then he like all of a sudden is on top of him going crazy. So that took a lot of my attention and I was already tired from the fair. So that was kind of chaotic, um, not gonna lie. And then right now I'm restocking these stickers. This is all the work I'm gonna do for tonight. It's all I really have to do. I mean, I'm out of car coaster designs, but I can't do much about that. <laughs> and then my brother's sleeping over tonight. And so that's what you hear outside is Sean and Eric. But it's supposed to rain overnight up at the lake. So we brought home our inventory, which we always bring home inventory for two day markets. And then also whenever it's gonna rain like overnight, I take the legs off of my tablecloth so that they don't get wet and then the water moves to the top of the table. So I did that. What else did I do because it was gonna rain? I took most of my signage home I don't want it to get water damage in case like winds and rain, just not a good combo. And then we also put all the walls up on the canopy, which you saw. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this sheet of stickers. I also need to tab all of these and those. 
So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna go relax on the couch and go to bed soon. Tomorrow's fair is 10 to three, which I already said. And yeah, hopefully it goes by fast because I am feeling very tired, <laughs> but I will see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. It's 9.05 right now. We're on our way to the second day of this market. I feel a whole lot better than I did last night and this morning. Last night, I swear, I was just like delirious. I was so tired. Taking that clip in my office, I had to keep like repeating sentences because I was like stumbling over my words. I was so tired. And then this morning, I woke up and I still had a headache like on my right side. But we got Dunkin's, not this Dunkin's, we got the food Dunkin's. And <laughs> I have a matcha and I'm feeling a lot better. I'm also happy that today is a shorter market. It's 10 to 3. I I think I've said that like 10 times. But yeah, I will see when we get there. We don't have too much setting up to do. I don't know how much I'll be able to film because we're running late, as always. We're supposed to get there at 9.30 and the fair starts at 10, so that gives us 30 minutes to get our stuff out of the van and set up. But sorry about this lighting. It sucks when we're driving and the sun is going in and out. I will see you when we get there. I just noticed this, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's standing on this dock. They're just like looking out. Maybe they're just looking. I don't know, I thought they were like waiting for a boat or something. Very interesting. It's like a lot of people. I figured out what they're waiting for. I'm thinking it's docking, which would be crazy, but it's getting awfully close to not dock. It's a Mount Washington. It's so crazy. This ship is huge. I've never been on it. We gotta go on it sometime, Sean. Maybe for our honeymoon. Just kidding, we're going somewhere better than the Mount Washington, huh? Maybe lean for Yeah. Maybe for an engagement party? He's using the rock as his pillow. Wouldn't be my first choice, but. <laughs> Okay, so for day two hourly sales, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., we made $96. From 11 to 12, $84. 12 to 1 o'clock, $107. 1 to 2 o'clock, $30. And it also rained between 1 and 2, which you'll see in a minute. And then from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, we made $220, which was the most in any hour of the whole fair. So the day two total was $537. Despite day two being a shorter market day, we made more than on day one. It's about 1.15 and we put a couple walls up because as you can hear it is raining. It's actually thunderstorming. So it's supposed to clear up in what, like 30 minutes to an hour? Um, so we'll take the walls back down then. My parents are coming up here. We're gonna eat some food right next to the booth and then go on their boat. So that'll be really fun. I'm hoping this rain stops soon though. This might be the heaviest it's rained at a fair thus far. Would you agree? 
I think so. This is, no, this is like downpour. Oh my God. I don't even know if you can hear me. Okay, it's about 10 minutes since I took that last clip. That's the system <laughs> leaving. And now it's beautiful again. I was down for a little excitement. And Duncan found a stick. Drove straight into the morning, made it there by sunrise. Watched the buildings glowing, no one ever told us. You gotta work for all this fun, it's got its ups, it's got its downs. When you're on the road, traffic lights and parking lots are the only places that we stop. Haven't had a full night's sleep. Little over a week. We love to see the country. Take time to stay a while. We gotta make it to the show. And that's the way it goes when you're on the road. It is 7.30. Duncan and I are sitting in the car. We're about to head back to my parents' house, actually. We're gonna do like a game night and have some pizza. I don't know how I'm still running. I was so exhausted yesterday, but right now I'm feeling fine, but I'm sure I'll sleep really well. The boat was so fun. Also, the market was amazing. We made a total of $1,013 for the two days combined. And at the very end of the market, I was still in the van and Sean was finishing bringing stuff over. And he came over with a customer who yesterday requested the Great Dane that was gray with a white chest. So that was really funny because she caught us right before we were leaving. And she bought two of those stickers and then a Great Dane keychain. So that was like a very, very final sale. I don't think I'll ever have one that last minute, but that was funny. But today <laughs> was a much shorter market. It was only five hours. Yesterday was seven, eight hours, eight hours. So. We made more money today than yesterday in three hours less of a market. So that's always great. I love short markets that are profitable. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next video. And Sean hopes too as well. Peace. Bye.